What recent advancements offer hope for patients with high risk or even ultra high risk multiple myeloma? Gail, I'm so glad you asked that question. I think it's a perfect way to end our Q&A session because I've been doing myeloma research for 25 years and I don't know if I have ever seen a time where in general there's greater excitement about what we're achieving and what we're using in clinical trials and indeed in the clinic, but that specifically now we are doing much more work in high-risk myeloma, designing trials specifically for high-risk patients. And maybe one of the ways I can describe it to you is in general in high-risk myeloma, more is better, meaning if we come at myeloma in multiple ways, typically in combinations, we can see better outcomes. And even now with our new immunotherapies, we're starting to see combination by specific agents or combining different strategies together. And particularly in that high risk and ultra high risk category, we're seeing patients do better, not just because they're living longer, but living better because we're using treatments that are more tolerable and that are more conducive to people continuing to do the things that they want to do.